What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans? Umbered Him Gaming here again once again presenting yet another Dragon Ball discussion video. I'm here today with a good friend of mine, Lego Lapras aka Nick Bass, and we're here today to talk about the possibility of us witnessing Vegito return in Dragon Ball Super. Now I know a lot of people might think um, this is way too far-fetched, but with you know some of the recent information that's been coming out uh, with the Kai's defusing Yes, Kabito Kai has defused and will defuse sometime within the series um, I want to get like your overall thoughts and opinions on this because a lot of people uh, They're gonna look at this and they're gonna say well That's just too far-fetched because Vegito is such a powerful character and the only way to defuse him is to summon Shenron But how are you gonna do that when you know you're gonna have people like Shampa running around trying to look for the wish orbs and stuff like that So what is your overall take of a possible? Super Saiyan God slash Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Return of Vegito possibly being introduced in the, in the series, uh, either going up against one of the gods, perhaps even Beerus for a sparring session. Um, I want to know your overall take on this because I know I know everybody has a different opinion, um, but I want to know like what you think about the Kai's defusing and uh, the foreshadowing of a possible fusion returning. In my opinion, possibly Vegito because he is the strongest um, out of the whole you know fusion sequences. So, what is your overall opinion on that? Uh, my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I was kind of wanting to see Gogeta in the series, but... Why? Why him over Vegito? I don't know. I just... Uh, because, you know, they can unfuse within 30 minutes or so, and then they'd go back to Goku and Vegeta, and you'd still have those guys running around. But I, I suppose they're not trying to make him canon, so maybe Vegito is the way to go. I mean, but if, if you had to choose between Vegito or Gogeta, because, I mean, if you really think about it, Gogeta has a time limit, so how far along the lines do you think you know, a metamorph fusion would last, especially with having godlike energy. I mean, would it be shorter? Would the time span be longer? I mean, like, what is your take on that? Because we saw what they did. I, I mean, I people are going to give me a lot of crap for this, but Super Saiyan 4, right? Like, that lasted, what, five, ten minutes? So, with this new power, I mean, do you think the fusion would last longer? If, if by some chance, Akira were to try to reintroduce Gogeta, um, which I think would be very fitting, but I think they should introduce him in a form to where uh, he's introduced... But he loses because we all know at this point that uh, the differences between fusion is the fact that the metamorph fusion adds your power additionally, whereas the uh, Patara multiplies your power. So I think it only makes sense for them to bring back Vegito. Um, they've been foreshadowing this in Resurrection F so many times and in Battle of Gods when Goku was down on the ground talking about how you know fusion might work. But then again, he he actually noted that it wouldn't work. So what is your overall thought on like the time limit? Like let's say for example they were to come back and do a fusion uh like how would you think a godlike fusion would last especially using the metamorph yeah if they, if they go with what happened in Dra dragon ball gt the timeline may be very short and it seems like it might be useless so if they will go with that i assume goku and Vegeta would kind of consider that not that they know what happened in gt but they would consider maybe this would you know drain the power of the fusion or make the time go down and you know they wouldn't really uh think it's a good idea to do gogeta but, I mean, like, would someone like Gogeta be enough to, like, even go up against Beerus or Whis, for that matter? Even if it's just for, like, a sparring session. Uh, Beerus, yeah, I think I think maybe they'd be able to at least do more than Goku's doing in Super right now. But Whis, he's just such an enigma, you never really know what could actually affect him. Now, a lot of people might give you, like, a lot of heat for that. They might say, well, a lot of you guys, including us, are just overhyping Whis. But Whis, I mean, he, he noted very specifically... Um, in Resurrection F that there are certain traits that you can master with your body. Um, for example, uh, you know, so Whis is able to move at such a tremendous speed that he doesn't really think how to react. He just reacts with the motion. So, and he even admitted that that was something that Beerus even still to this day hasn't learned. Maybe he learns it in Super, who knows. Um, but with the foreshadowing of the whole fusion situation, I think that, especially with the Kai's defusing, um, that is very, very, like uncommon because we haven't i mean i don't think we've ever seen something like that before i mean we saw what happened when you know regular metamorph you know defuses but we haven't really seen you know something along these lines and the patara fusion is supposed to be a permanent fusion um but like if by some chance they were to introduce vegeto like how do you think that would even like go about like how would you see this like being played off because vegeto you know being reintroduced and having way more energy and way more power than he had when he fought Boo, how do you think this would actually coexist with, like, the current story? Like, would he be able to, uh, you know, just hold his pride back for a second and not get egotistical and fight the gods? Or do you think, like, he might actually go the limit and say, you know what, you, you were able to beat me, you know, individually, but now that we're together, it's a different story. So, like, what, what are your thoughts on that? 
I think that with the combination of possible emotions within it, fighting gods and all this sort of thing, it seems like now the world isn't at stake, but more so the universe, possibly. So I think that they're, they just could to a point where it's just time to put everything aside, put all the emotions and, and pride and all that aside, and just get down to business with everything. But would Vegeta, I mean, would Vegeta really put that aside? I mean, he made it very clear that he doesn't want to do anything with Goku ever again, so... Yeah, it'd, it'd be pretty difficult, and I definitely could see it not happening, but... But, but it, you said you said there has to be a universal threat, like, what do you mean by that? It just seems, from what I've heard and what I've seen, what people say and all that, just that Champa and maybe Beerus would just kind of are out just to destroy, and maybe... Champa kind of has a short fuse, and he just wants to destroy everything—not just not just Earth, but the but the universe. Because maybe he doesn't quite like Beerus as much, so he just wants to destroy Universe uh, Seven overall. It's just I don't know. It's, it's a possibility. I mean, that that is a very valid point because why in the world is he there in the first place? I mean, my personal theory is that he I I, I think he has to do something with Frieza. There is no way I believe that Frieza would obtain. A power so, like, that, that can match up against Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan in such a short time span. So I believe Shampa may have, you know, had some sort of influence upon that. He probably gave him some advice or he probably trained them himself. Um, but I, I like your theory on the idea of there being a universal threat. Uh, but if there were a universal threat, don't you think Whis would already handle that? Or do you think, like, personally, there has to be some way of just exceeding even Whis's power and Vegito is that way? I think so. Whis, to me, seems like the kind of guy who really could do it, but he's the kind of guy who likes to stand back and watch his students do it, and if they screw up, then he can go in and save them, but he just kind of likes to watch his work uh, go to work and do it themselves, kind of a thing. But, I mean, so so in the end, do you see him coming back, yes or no? Uh, who's who coming back? Vegito. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, it, so, so, so you, you definitely see him over Gogeta. Yeah, because if Vegito didn't come back, then the whole Kai is unfusing just on a whim doesn't make sense. It has to be Vegito, in my opinion. But even if he is brought back, I mean, how would they even separate him? I mean, if if they even separate at all, because, I mean, we know that, well, as of now, we know that, you know, you're able to separate and you're able to become, you know, uh, your own being again. But what if, like, because remember, Vegito isn't really, yeah, he can, he contains the traits of both Goku and Vegeta, but he isn't really, um, I would say, you know, either either one of them. I think he, he he is his own being. So what if he just refuses to defuse or something like that? I mean, that that could be a possibility. Um, but I, I I think that definitely someone like Vegito in a Super Saiyan God like state would be able to totally like just trash Beerus. Um, aside from that power, I don't think he's able to. I don't care what anybody else says. I think that if he were to be a Super Saiyan one, two, or three, I don't think that his power would even match up to a God. Because remember, they have like a different realm of power. Now, I think that if he were to obtain that power, uh, he would be a very credible threat. Now, there was a video that you made saying that uh, you believe that Super Saiyan God is stronger than Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, correct? Yeah, yeah. W w why do you believe that? I don't know. It just it All the stuff I've read online, and I think Akira Toriyama may or may not have said that red is more powerful than blue. I'm not sure if that's legitimate or not. But um, I don't know. Uh, from what they said in the movie, it's, it's uh, Super Saiyan with a godlike aura, I believe. Is that is that what they said? Uh, or Go Goku said he was able to tap in, and I, I think that's what a lot of people misunderstand. Uh, tapping into a power and actually having that power are two very different things. Um, that is up for debate, having a Super Saiyan God versus a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Um, but after watching Dragon Ball Super, and we see how Goku's faring up against Beerus... It, it's just like it's kind of sad because if if that form is supposed to be stronger than the blue form then how in the hell is he losing so badly i mean it's just pretty sad but in the end so you you believe that vegeto is foreshadowed to return at, at some point during the series i definitely see that and whether or not he'll stay is is unknown but i do see him coming regardless of anything well i mean at least I got one person's opinion. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this. Do you guys agree with Nick? Do you guys disagree with Nick? Um, I personally think Vegito will return at some point. Perhaps maybe even the Kais themselves have abilities to where they can knock you out of your fusion. Um, anything is possible at this point. So just drop your comments in the comment section below. Do you guys think Vegito is going to return or not? And uh, once again, everybody, thank you all for watching. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe. Check out Lego Lapras, everybody, if you guys want to check out some of his content as well. And uh, I hope you all stay tuned for more. And I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.